In September of 2017, shortly after my husband and I had moved to join our family in California, I was amazed and grateful as I experienced the First Press Women's Retreat in the beautiful Redwoods. For me, learning, joie de vivre, and calling have often come from the diversity of language, culture, and color. It seems that God was crowning that part of my life at a time of transition with an amazing group of women, young and old, Hispanic, Asian, African American, and Caucasian, all willing to get to know one another. As a child, I knew about ethnicity and loved the Scottish tunes we sang, as well as my grandmother's Highland accent. But it wasn't until a church youth retreat that I experienced the challenges and rewards of an interracial friendship. A black family had started attending our church, and their daughter, Wynne, was assigned to a room with me. She was angry and sullen. Her parents were integrating a white neighborhood as well as a church, and now she had to share a room with a white girl. However, the next day, the Spirit of God spoke to each of us in the retreat sessions. That night, we discovered what we had in common and became sisters in Christ. Over the years, we shared much laughter and thought, experiencing the pain of the civil rights movement, the joy of our weddings, and our love of languages. Our friendship widened my perspective on life in the United States and stirred a desire for justice for people of color. Living with a French family in France as a college student was another transforming cross-cultural experience. I was smitten with the French language, the beauty of the country, and the culture of people I came to love. Later, as a professor of French, I became interested in the complex identity of peoples who had been colonized in Indochina, Africa, French Polynesia, and the Caribbean. The richness of their origins and their struggles with injustice and discrimination seem similar to what African Americans and many immigrants to America have experienced. Here in the Bay Area, I have discovered that we are rich in diversity. Being part of a multicultural congregation with pastors, staff, preachers, and musicians from many ethnicities and races is a foretaste of God's heavenly family and has helped me appreciate my life journey. It has been a privilege to join a bilingual community group. We are brothers and sisters learning one another's languages and worship styles as we study scriptures and pray for one another, our church, and our hurting countries. We are building friendships in spite of our differences and because of them, and I am so grateful.